Hello, welcome to my channel, Artifacts, facts about the art. So, this is going to be just a quick little video, it's about a painting I've recently completed, and this painting features Scarlett O'Hara in a scene where I like to refer to her as Scarlett, the Scarlet Harlot. If you've ever seen the film Gone with the Wind, there are a couple of very memorable scenes. One is, as God is my witness, I shall never go hungry again. And frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <sighs> How scandalous that was at the time. But one of my personal favorite scenes of all time was the scene where Scarlett showed up to the party wearing her red dress. It was such an impactful scene for me that as a huge Barbie collector, it was extremely important to me that I had the Scarlett O'Hara in the red dress Barbie. Mm. This Scarlett Barbie and my Christian Dior Barbie are my prized possessions. Oh, of course my my Starlight Waltz Barbie and my Starlight Waltz Barbie and my Egyptian goddess Barbie, my medieval princess Barbie, my 2008 holiday Barbie, my Elizabethan Barbie, and then the Scarlet and the Green Dress Barbie. That one belonged to my sister, but I always coveted that Barbie. And my Chinese Empress Barbie. But Scarlet and the Red Dress Barbie, oh, I loved her. I used to gaze at her and remember that magnificent and incredibly impactful scene. So memorable it was. But she went to the party, she didn't want to go, and Retton made her, and he made her wear the most eye-catching and provocative dress, a red dress. He made her go into the party all by herself. And she knew that she had been the talk of the town. She was scandalous because she was hugging Ashley and she got caught. How scandalous. So she walked into the party. Everybody stopped and stared at her. How could this wanton harlot, a scarlet, walk into the party unashamed and look at the dress she is wearing? This dress perfectly exemplifies her loose morals. Scarlet faces them all, and she has a choice. She could be demure and ashamed and embarrassed. Being demure, ashamed, and embarrassed would be something of an admission of guilt. But Scarlet knows she's not guilty. She throws her chin up, throws her shoulders back, makes eye contact with everybody in the room, meets their gaze unabashedly, unapologetically throws up a brow, a haughty toss of her shoulder. Go ahead, judge me, she says. I'm unaffected. Not only that, your judgment is below me. I'll never forget that scene where the ever so slight flutter of the feathers on her dress seems to say, <laughs> you can't even ruffle my feathers with your judgment. Or at least, that's what I always imagined it said. <laughs> Perfect. So here's my Scarlet painting. Scarlet. <laughs> here's the bottom half. Since this whole pandemic started, I've gotten really into ordering things off the internet, which I never did before. And I have to tell you, it is a problem. So I'm gonna quit this severe addiction very soon, I assure you. It's bad for the environment, and it's bad for my wallet. It's just bad, it's bad, it's a bad thing to do. But I got the idea in my head that I should start ordering stencils, wigs, wigs, wigs. So I took my canvas and I placed this stencil over the top. You can still see the paint that I have here. First I painted the whole entire canvas gold. Then I laid my stencil over top. Ooh, stencil. And then I took my blue paint and everywhere. I painted, I put blue paint on it. So I painted it blue, and that left me with these lovely little golden circles. Full effect. That gave me this beautiful little golden circle effect, which I adore. I spent so much time working on Vivian Lee's face here because to me, her face is exquisite. So, I 
I felt like it was really important to catch the cold fire in her eyes, the cool power of her eyes, juxtaposed with the fire of her dress. It was a brilliant scene. I'm happy to say that she's got a home, and um, thanks so much for tuning into my channel and watching my video, indulging me while I play dress up. <laughs> And as always, it's the YouTube thing. If you like this video, by all means, please do like and subscribe. I'm hoping to make a few more art history oriented videos, as well as biographies about some of my favorite artists and of course my favorite art movements of all time. So thank you so much. Like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more videos, remember, tomorrow is another day. <laughs>